What's up outdoorsman Greg here along with Nelly and Parker and today we're doing a review of the First Light Solitude set. First Light is a camouflage gear company that I really, really like. Uh, the stuff that they're putting out is super innovative. Uh, in my opinion, they're up there at the top tier as far as clothing manufacturers. Big fan of First Light and in Missouri, I was able to actually hunt with it as I got a First Light Solitude set. I'd never hunted with First Light stuff before. All my buddies love First Light, so I figured I'd give it a shot. So I use the Solitude set, which is the jacket and the bibs, both great pieces of kit. So I wore them on two hunts. One hunt was a morning hunt in the 20s and one hunt was in the low 20s. I think the low was like 19 and then it got up to about 25 by the end of the morning. And then the second hunt was an afternoon hunt that was in the 40s. So two different temperature ranges. I gotta say, this thing performed really, really well. I am a minimalist when it comes to layering. I don't like to put on 18 different layers underneath to keep warm. My preferred way to hunt is to wear very, very light under layers and then wear a heavy outer layer. So the Solitude set, um, it's not actually First Light's warmest layer. They make a sanctuary set that is a little bit warmer than this. So it's not quite a fair comparison, but I have out here what I've been using. I've had this camo for over 10 years. This is the APX G2 Whiteout from Russell from Russell Outdoors. I have the jacket and the pan, and this has been my cold weather kit for about 10 years. The Solitude set is not quite as warm as the Russell APX G2 Whiteout set. Not quite. But then again, I don't know that it was designed to be. It, it was designed to be a little bit lighter than that. So they have the, like I said, the Sanctuary set that's more of a direct competitor with this. But this is my frame of reference, so my comments are kind of based on that, just so we get that clear. The Solitude set, man, the thing that I loved most about the Solitude set, when you have the jacket on, they have this system called the Kit Link system. So what you've got right here is you've got your traditional pocket, which they built a little cuff into the pocket. Freaking awesome. It just captures your glove as you put it in there and it makes a little cuff or a gasket right around your hand. Awesome, that's the, the traditional pocket. But then they have this kit link system, which they also, they, uh, they, they made the zippers go opposite so you could find them in the dark, pretty smart. Pretty smart. The, the main pocket zips down and the kit link system zips up uh, to open it up. This thing is awesome. What it allows you to do is you could put your hands in here and access your bibs. The bibs have a built-in pocket here, which you throw some hand muffs in, and so now you eliminate your, your big hand muff that you would normally carry in and strap around your waist. You just open the pocket on your, on your Solitude jacket, reach through the kit link system, come into here, put a couple of hand warmers in there, and that's really good for two reasons. One, like I said, it eliminates your hand warmer, so it's an extra piece of gear you don't have to carry, Plus, now the hand warmers, instead of being outside of your body in some sort of muff, now they're inside your main jacket, warming up your whole core. So you put your hands in here, you have access to your hand warmers, plus it's warming up your, your chest and your, your whole upper torso. It's freaking brilliant. I love the kit link system, it's awesome. I love the camo. I love how the uh, pants, they have the pockets, instead of off to the side, like a traditional cargo pant would have it down here, they've got it right on the front of your thigh and it's two pockets, it's awesome. So you've got the first pocket, which is a, a zippered pocket, but then behind the zippered pocket, you've got just a regular pocket that you can go in. It's, it's really great. They put a lot of thought into this. Another thing about the bib that I really, really, really like is they, they're full zip. They zip all the way up to the hip. Really, you could, you could actually unzip it completely if you wanted, which I don't really think is necessary, but they zip all the way up to the hip, so you can put rubber boots on, any kind of big heavy footwear just slides right through. That is an absolute necessity for me for outer heavy garments. I really, really like the Solitude bibs. I mean, the kit link system, the, the full side zips, it's a really nice system, and when you pair it with the jacket, I'm a big fan. So my recommendation for, the, for these temperatures would be, I wouldn't probably wear it uh, in extreme cold, 
unless you want to layer up significantly underneath it. And when I say extreme cold, like high teens and below. To me, the cutoff where I would not want to wear this would probably be around 15, 15 to 18 degrees and below. I would not, I would pick something different personally. But I know there are guys that layer up underneath this thing and then they, they do it really well. It's just not the way I choose to do it. Really solid set for anything from high 40s down to the 20s. It's, it's fantastic. It's really well made. First Light does not mess around when they make their gear. They know how to make quality, awesome gear. So I definitely recommend the Solitude set and anything else from First Light. These are the only, only couple pieces I have from First Light, but I'm, I think I'm going to get more because I really, really like it. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this helped. The Solitude set is definitely worth the money um, and support First Light. They're a great freaking company and I love what they stand for and how they advocate for hunters and public lands all around the country. So big thumbs up for First Light Solitude set.